हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द चैनल ट्यूटर बॉक्स एंड टूडेज क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन व्हाट इज कॉन्ट्रैक्ट रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो दिस इज द लेक्चर ऑफ फार्माको विजिलेंस सेक्शन एंड दिस इज फ्रॉम द बी फॉर्म एट सेमेस्टर एंड पार्ट यूनिट टू सी आर ओ इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड मेनी टाइम्स क्वेश्चन इज आस अबाउट द सी आर ओ इन यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जामिनेशन एंड सी आर ओ इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू गाइज बिकॉज इन मोस्ट ऑफ द सी आर ओ यू पीपल विल गेट द जॉब सो यू मस्ट नो वॉट इज द सी आर ओ हाउ दे आर फंक्शनिंग वॉट इज देअर हिस्ट्री एंड हाउ यू पीपल कैन गेट द जॉब सो गेटिंग एवरी इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द सी आर ओ इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर योर फ्यूचर एस्पेक्ट एज वेल ओके सो फर्स्ट वी अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज सी आर ओ और कॉन्ट्रैक्ट रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो फर्स्ट वी अंडरस्टैंड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सी आर ओ सो पर्टिकुलरली सी आर ओ इज अ पर्सन और जनरली मोस्टली इट इज अ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट इज अ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉन्ट्रेक्टेड बाय स्पॉन्सर टू परफॉर्म वन और मोर ऑफ स्पॉन्सर ट्रायल रिलेटेड ड्यूटीज एंड फंक्शन सो फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड दीज पॉइंट वॉट हैपन इट इज अ सी आर ओ इज बेसिकली ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विच टेक वर्क फ्रॉम अदर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अदर बिगर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओके सो इट इज कॉन्ट्रेक्टेड बाय स्पॉन्सर स्पॉन्सर मीन्स अदर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज अदर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू परफॉर्म वन और मोर ऑफ स्पॉन्सर ट्रायल रिलेटेड ड्यूटीज एंड फंक्शन सपोज देर इज अ बिगर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लाइक अ फाइजर देर इज अ बिगर कंपनी लाइक अ फाइजर एंड दिस कंपनी हैज अ वर्क ऑफ न्यू ड्रग डिस्कवरी देन दिस कंपनी समटाइम वॉट दे आर डूइंग दे डू सम स्पेसिफिक वर्क टू अदर कंपनीज which are specialized in like some companies are specialized in preclinical work some companies are specialized in bioanalytical work some companies are manufacturing work specialized in manufacturing work and some companies are specialized in clinical practices like gcp okay so these are various aspect and if pfizer giving their work or outsource this work then these other all these uh, company are known as a cro clear everyone so generally cro is very fascinated term or very popular term in the life sciences drug discovery pharmaceutical medical devices so there are lot of company arose recently in uh, last 2 3 decades okay almost we can say 1500 cro worldwide we can find so just look at it what is the need initially why cro generated what is the need basic okay so basically as we all know drug discovery is a very bigger process and it is a time taking process as well as it is also a require lot of funds okay and for a single company it is tough to generate that much fund as well as it is taking too much time for a single company to run all of these operation of drug discovery so what companies are doing basically everybody wants that their drug should be discovered in a small span of time but as we all know at least for a single drug to reach into the clinical it require almost 12 to 15 years and it also require too much funds so basically contract nurses organization are required to save the cost of the research okay this is one of the prime need to generate the cro then the second one is to save the time for the discovery process of the drug or discovery process of the medical devices and some detection diagnostic kits we can take any of the kind of things in the pharmaceutical field okay so fund and time are very very important aspect and the third one is specialized services provided by the cro and by specialized professionals as we know some cro are specialized in the preclinical work some are specialized in the bioanalytical work some cro specialized in regulatory work clear so those kind of cro having a specialized professional to perform those activity so what happened it will reduce the cost and time and the result whatever the result obtained by those specialized profession will be very accurate so these all things 
evolve the newer organization which is called a CRO. So I hope you people are able to understand what is the need of CRO and how they generate it. Now looking on the little bit history of the CRO. Okay, so initially uh, there was uh, if we are looking on the 1800 then there were only pharmaceutical companies. But if you are looking on the 1900, so initially 19 around 1930, the first CRO which registered in the USA, the name of the oldest CRO we can say is a food drug research laboratory, which was established in the New Jersey uh, USA and it was started into 1930 but it was closed in 1980 but after 1980 around but in around 1975 and onwards there there were many CRO generated and among them some of them are bio as a system Tegaris, Bashiran, STI and Charles River laboratory and then further what happened slowly and slowly so many CRO emerged and due to the economic pressure we can say due, due to the economic pressure there are some kind of activity those activities are known as a merger and acquisition as well as closures okay so some of the laboratory acquire other laboratories and merge those smaller laboratory into them so one of the bigger CRO is Charles River laboratory okay so economic pressure also forced to merge and closer of the CRO and then further newer and newer CRO evolved. Now looking on the what kind of services CRO are providing. Basically they are generated to provide the services and they are basically the outsourcing center for the main pharmaceutical companies. Clear? So pharmaceutical company are looking for the best services. Okay. So they outsource their work to those companies. So we must know what kind of services are provided by the CRO. Now if we are looking CRO on particularly for the pharmaceutical field. So what kind of services they provide. So for if you are looking the services they are provided in the biology sector, they are providing in the chemistry sector as well as clinical sciences and in pharmaceutics and in the regulatory field. So first we are looking the services which they provide in the biology field. So as we all know that in biology field in vitro assay or in vitro experiments are performed in the laboratory. So in vitro kind of assay as well as in vivo like preclinical studies also perform in the biology section in as well as toxicology like immunotoxicology, basic toxicology. So all toxicology kind of studies are established under the umbrella of the biology and initially in the initial era of 1930 to 1975 some of the CRO only based on the toxicology okay so they also do the work of lead identification lead optimization I hope you also know about the drug development process so you heard the term lead identification and lead optimization so I am not explaining these terms okay so the other one is efficacy modeling how the drug is efficacious so they in biology in the laboratory they develop the efficacy models so this is called as efficacy modeling then pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic studies so in pharmacokinetic ADME and pharmacodynamic studies so all of these activities performed in the umbrella of the biology now looking on the chemistry portion what kind of chemistry can be done by the CROs so the scale up of the synthesis initially the drug are synthesized in pilot plant then further they are synthesized for uh, large production so some of the CRO are specialized in the scale up of the synthesis so this is the work then API manufacturing this is also a specialized work of some of the CRO like DV's lab if you are looking in the India then DV's lab is specialized in the synthesis of the API chemical and it is a, one of the bigger uh, we can say organization among in the Asia which is supplying the drugs API chemicals particularly to the whole over the world then radio synthesis of the chemicals and analytical and bioanalytical services as we all know in bioanalytical services method development is important like HPLC method development of the various drug 
and bioanalytical services means the drug is from the preclinical samples they are plasma sample of the rodents and from plasma sample we are isolating the drug and then doing the bioanalytical method development studies then then the validation of these services clear everyone now if you are looking on the clinical services so what kind of clinical services we are looking so particularly these services are under the domain of gcp good clinical practices so, okay so in good clinical practices phase 0 phase 1 phase 2 and phase 3 studies and clinical trial site management services are also provided by the mostly cro so if you are looking on the cro percentage then 70 percent is cro working in the clinical sciences and rest of the 30 percent cro working in the other area okay so the clinical sciences is one of the most important aspect among the drug development procedure okay and then biostatistics so as we all know after getting the data or after collection of that whole data of the clinical trial we require statistics to interpret a whole the data so for this we required some bio statistician so particularly the companies are not specialized in them so they transfer their whole data to the company who, who having a bio statistician or they having the specialization bio statistician so this is another task performed by the cro then report writing of these clinical data clear everyone and then one of the important aspect pharmacovigilance uh, under the umbrella of pharmacovigilance we are also studying this cro so you know what what is the importance of pharmacovigilance so all of these uh, terms are under the umbrella of clinical science then looking on the pharmaceutics what is the work of pharmaceutics so as we all know in pharmaceutics we are doing the formulation development and drug product manufacturing so formulation development and after formulation development we are doing the drug product manufacturing so these services are under the pharmaceutical then further regulatory so regulatory aspect is one of the very important part now what we are doing in the regulatory so first we are doing the ind filing ind filing then ind means investigation new drug application filing as you all know if you are you have heard about the these term then nda filing new drug application filing then 510k filing as well as pre-market approval procedure and common technical document ctd then drug master file and then annual update all of these kind of activity are done by the regulatory department you all know about the drug regulatory affair department okay so in drug regulatory affair department these kind of activities are done by the drug regulatory affair department dra okay so whenever you get the job in dra you you know you must know about these kind of things and filing so each and every country has a different kind of regulation so you must know these kind of things so such kind of things are done by the cro clear everyone so these are these kind of the services are provided by cro within the domain of gmp good manufacturing procedures so in manufacturing you know the product manufacturing api manufacturing then glp laboratory practices so in laboratory practices we get the in vitro in vivo toxicology pkpd and analytical bioanalytical services as well as scale of synthesis then gcb all clinical activities come under this umbrella as well as regulatory things clear everybody now we get the information and idea about the services which are provided by the cro now the companies those bigger pharmaceutical companies are searching for the cro and what kind of things they require or what kind of the criteria they must know for the selection of the cro that is the important part now just look on the how to select a cro for the outsourcing of their activities clear everyone so dependability means means how much a company who is giving who is outsourcing their work to the cro so how much dependable on that cro clear everyone then prior experience with activity or specific study suppose a company or a bigger organization is outsourcing their work to a cro then they must know about that how much experience the particular cro has on that particular kind of study but in this area the company should not scare about that if the cro do not have much experience on 
the particular kind of study they want to give them because they must assure about their facilities as well as professional working over there so that is important point then training of the personnel so in the cro whether the people who are involved or doing their work are they proper trained or are those people are uh, aware about the recent advancement in the technologies or softwares or molecular biology work so this is also an important point to be considered by the sponsor then status and type of equipment required to perform studies the sponsor must know that what kind of equipment is required for their study so such kind of equipment are available in the cro or not so this is another important task then the cost of the project so what kind of cost the cro is proposing to the sponsor that is important so if the sponsor is selecting five cro and giving the same task to five cro and then ask for the quotation so all those uh, cro who are giving their quotation so the what what kind of quotation they are giving means who has proposing higher cost and who has proposing lower cost so that is also an important part then state of the facilities clear so if the company is running a cro in a preclinical segment or in a bioanalytical segment so what is the state of the their facilities means the lcms ms or the bioanalytical instrument like hplc hptlc so whether these instruments are properly working how old they are how many newer instrument they have okay then regulatory history of the organization so the sponsor also check the regulatory history they should check the regulatory history of the organization means whether the particular cro is failed to perform the regulatory activity or not or the organization do not have any blacklisted then state of it system so this is another important checkpoint for the sponsor to check about the it system of the cro the cro is updated about all the softwares or not they have a proper connectivity or not they have all kind of ict equipments available or not then financial soundness so if the sponsor is providing their work to cro then cro is having a proper funds or not to perform their activities clear that's why this is a point of consideration for a sponsor to select the cro by the sponsor then physical location and accessibility suppose a cro is located in a very suburban area okay or a rural area then the connectivity is a one of the big problem for ict kind of systems clear so and as well as what is the physical location of the cro whether the sponsor is able to reach them easily or not that's why you find that most of the cro are situated in india like in metro cities like bangalore pune mumbai delhi so in these area there, there is a proper connectivity and their location is uh, also well known then the references and reputation so Uh, the cro has a already a kind of list that the particular cro has performed the activities of following following companies like they perform the activities of eli lilly as pfizer astrazeneca okay if they have a client list then the particular sponsor is sure about that particular cro has a good reputation as well as references then procedure in place to protect client confidentiality so this is another important uh, aspect of the european and american c pharmaceutical companies because they want to protect client confidentiality okay that's why how much the cro is able to protect the client confidentially or protect client confidentiality about their data whatever the data the cro is getting Uh, so the cro is protecting their data or make it confidential or not so this is another important point then accessibility of the study scheduling clear then format and detail of the study protocol so sponsor should know about the study protocol what kind of protocol they are running and uh, what is the format of the protocol 
and this protocol is acceptable in their country or not or this protocol is acceptable for the regulatory authority or not clear everyone because in a study protocol there is also a important concern regarding the ethical consideration so so ethical approval is there or not clear then company position on authorship so whenever the company is getting the data so CRO is taking authorship of the research publication or not so the sponsor must know about this point clear everyone because whenever they getting the data like recently you know that in covid drugs clinical trials okay so in covid drug clinical trial the many data is published in the clinical trials whatever the data is published in the journals so in these scientific journals the authorship of the CRO as well as the a pharmaceutical company both having or not or cro giving total authorship to the pharmaceutical company or not so this is the terms and condition of these contract then the on time report delivery so whatever the time frame given by the sponsor to the cro so within time limit the cro is giving the report or not this is a one of the one of the very most important criteria because you, you, we all know time time is one of the important part of our life and for the drug discovery we all know uh, why we started the cro to save the time so if the cro is not giving their report on the time then the time of drug discovery will increase clear so this is another important point of concern before selecting a cro then openness to inspection by the sponsor so whenever a sponsor want to inspect the cro then cro cannot deny for the inspection clear one of the most important point and then for the terms of master service agreement so whenever a sponsor is agree with a particular cro then they sign the contract of master service agreement in, in this master service agreement they write all the terms and condition of their work and in this service agreement they write about all the conditions like time money as well as reporting of the data and whatever all the aspect i mentioned here so they write all the information related to these point in the terms and condition of the master service agreement so these are the some point of how to select the cro for outsourcing now just look how to find the cro how to find the correct cro so they are list and advertisement in the trade journal there are so many trade journals for particular kind of activities like clinical trial activity as well as bioanalytical activity there are so many magazines as well as journal so the companies can find the cro from the list as well as advertisement in the trade journal as well as there are so many professional journals like the clinical journals preclinical journals bioanalytical journals regulatory journals so professional journals and books in these books the cro also giving the advertisement then further scientific meeting these these are the one of the important one like they are various meetings like american pharmaceutical society apps having a meeting as well as neurological society having a meeting and bioanalytical society is having a meeting so worldwide scientific meeting a particular country wise meeting so in these meeting they uh, cro putting their stalls so the companies can meet those cro in the stalls and they can get the information about the cro then professional colleagues so remember sometime what happened in the company Uh, they are some higher authority persons and they have a colleague or they have a friends in the cro so they can talk about to those cro but in this case we must understand about the positive and negative biases so this should be clearly understand about the biases maybe the person may give the positive bias and the person may give the negative bias regarding the cro so this is another important then further make an in initial list of cro so whenever the company is selecting the cro they should it initially they should make around 6 to 9 cro list so that so that they can find and select the correct cro for a particular activity suppose they are selecting a cro for bioanalytical activity so then they should require at least 6 to 9 or 10 cro 
and then select them okay so this is about the how to find the CRO now looking on the how to check the accuracy of the CRO so this is another important point that whatever the data uh, mentioned by the CRO how we can check generally whenever we find uh, their CRO website they always tell that that they are very accurate and they are very best in their category everybody is uh, saying that they are the number one but how we can check them so there is a procedure to check them so what is the procedure generally most of the companies are filing their fda reports okay so check the fda websites and look the copies of laboratory inspection report by the federal agency generally fda has putting uh, their reports in the fda website and so we can check about the inspection report of the fda for the particular kind of the cro so that the company can know about a CRO to whom they want to give the work clear and these reports facilitate the comparison of the CRO so if we are selecting six CRO then we can check all six CRO reports in the FDA website so it will give us a impetus about the their comparison their each and every aspect of the CRO then the further one is actual site visit and interview with the CRO professional and CRO CEO okay so this is one of the most important criteria if uh, actual with visit is there then the company can know about the how uh, company is doing their work what are the facility they have whether they are reporting the data is accurate or not okay so this is some point where we can check the accuracy of the CRO then further now as we all know that uh, we got the good information about the CRO so there is a curiosity in our mind now what are the various top CRO of the world so I am giving you the some list of the CRO uh, which are the top considered as a top CRO in the world so Charles River laboratory is one of the top most laboratory as well as Chelton, PPD, Icon, Paraxel, okay, and Vuxi, Aptech, and Quintiles, Novotech, Inventive Health, Covans, and IQVIA. And there are so many more, like India, there are Vida, CRO, and there are so many more CRO. So I, I have just given a, a very few list, a uh, very small list of the CRO, and these are the some top CRO by their financial turnover okay now looking on the current market growth of the CRO why CRO is on the rise and what is the current market growth of the CRO so if you are looking on the data in 2018 global CRO market stood almost 38,396.4 million dollar so this is a very huge amount as we know and if uh, we are looking on the forecasting study so one of the forecasting studies saying that by 2026 CRO industry will having a 11.4 percent CAGR growth as well as it means it will reach up to 90,926.3 million dollar industry it will become so this is a very huge amount you know very well so this is about the growth and by these data you can get that uh, how many jobs may be available in these CRO clear everyone so this is uh, important aspect because you are the students and you you know you are studying pharmacovigilance and you want to move into the CRO then there are lot of jobs in the CROs then what are the key factors attracting to US and European companies to Asian CRO so initially I told you that in history that the initially CRO are available in US and European country but nowadays new CRO are booming in the Asian market and one of the two important market is India China and then further Japan is also another market so but India and China is booming too much so why US and European uh, companies attracting to these sites so they are some point uh, one of the most important point is cheaper pricing of both of these countries so they are providing uh, studies on cheaper prices then for the fewer animal right issue as we all know in comparison to US and European country in particularly India having a less 
एस्ट्रिंजेंट एनिमल राइट इश्यूज ओके दैट्स वाई रोड एंड स्टडीज आर ईजी एज कंपेरिजन टू यू एस एंड यूरोपियन कंट्रीज दैन लार्ज पूल ऑफ अवेलेबल पेशेंट एज इंडिया एंड चाइना हैज ए लार्ज पॉपुलेशन सो देर इज अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ लार्ज पॉपुलेशन ऑफ पेशेंट then further these new countries cros having a strategy to capture work from the large growing economies in new host country so generally uh, these asian cro are also developing their studies to get the work from the us and european companies so these are some key factor to attracting the us and european companies to asian cro then what approach should a company required in the selection of this new cro whenever a company is selecting a cro outside to us and european country then what approach they require so they required four kind of approach first perform extensive and thorough qualification audit they must do proper audit about those new cro then spend time to develop proper sop okay so standard operating procedure they should develop regarding their studies and then submit to those cro then maximize on site monitoring in critical phases of the study so they should assure that they will increase their site monitoring whenever there is a critical phase of studies is going on and then they should check the track record of regulated studies of these new cro if they find all these four criteria are well fit in a new cro then they can place their order to new cro clear everyone now just look at we studied about the approach of the selection now just look on the common cons and problem associated with the cro what kind of problem associated with the cro as we already discussed the pros uh, like whatever the facilities or whatever the services provided by the cro are considered as a pros but what are the cons of those cro so the first one is change in the key studies and personnel generally what happens sometime the person who is doing their study has changed the cro from one cro to another cro the move the person is move from one cro to another cro so this is another problem associated with the cro then lack of clarity in line of authority and signatory responsibility so this is the uh, another important point then for the lack of adherence with the timed milestone this is mostly happen nowadays because cro are not adhere with the timeline so time is very critical factor if time is increases then then the cost of the study will increase so this is important one and lack of regulatory compliance most of the cro are not perfect in regulatory compliance so this is another factor then failed in q and qc procedure sometime what happen the newly cro are not completed the q and qc studies according to their protocol and their procedure so they are, they remain failed and this kind of problem associated with the cro and for the poor selection of the technology sometimes the cro are not selecting a poor or they are selecting inappropriate technology to generate the data so to generate the data there is a requirement of the proper technology nowadays artificial intelligence is there so if they are selecting the artificial intelligence in the drug discovery then it will give the more better picture of the data so this is also a important criteria then for the actual closure of the testing facility this is the most important thing which is happen nowadays very regularly and what happen the cro may get closed due to the some of the financial burdens so this this is a one of the most important problem associated with nowadays and then miscommunication so there is a requirement of a proper communications uh, between the sponsor and the cro if miscommunication happen then they are not able to understand each and everything and uh, this will lead to the increase in time and cost of the study but nowadays one more concept is increasing day by day and this is uh, academic research organization basically this is known as aro academic research organization as a cro so nowadays what happen like some universities which are well established so some american university some european university as well as some asian university which are well established so some of the company are giving their work to 
such kind of university so academic research organization are also working as a cr1 they are nowadays uh, working in a much better manner clear everyone so i hope you people are able to understand cool concept of the cro and various point of the cro and here i discuss some question related with the cro just give the answer of these question in the comment box and if you think this lecture is useful then share this lecture to your friends jai bharat jai hind